Hi, Dave from Informed American, watching the Dr. Fauci testimony so you don't have to. Uh, the money quote there was, of course, that, you know, if we open the economy too early, we could see, you know, more deaths, more cases. That was kind of the money quote going around uh, this afternoon or this morning ahead of his testimony. Now, Dr. Fauci was also appearing with CDC Director Robert Redfield, as, as well as Admiral uh, Gerwar, who is the, uh, if I hope I pronounced that right, the coronavirus testing czar. So some of the highlights here, uh, we've got, despite the fact that we have 80,000 plus dead in the United States, uh, Dr. Fauci cautioned that the number is likely higher. So we're much higher than that. And of course, you know, real again, here on re, the quote on reopening the economy too early. If it occurs, there's a real risk that you will trigger an outbreak that you may not be able to, c to control. And there he's referring to states who have begun reopening their economy, like here in Florida this sort of phase one thing, this 14 day period. And what he's really saying there is if, if you get to the end of that 14 day period, it doesn't mean we're going to phase two. Some, you may, this thing may go out and, and, and we get another outbreak that you can't control. And then we're back to a lockdown. Think of that. That's really what he's saying here. This could be, I don't know, just a warning. This could be something that we could be hearing over the next couple of weeks. I'd love to know your thoughts on that comment below. Are you ready? And I think I put this on here. Are you prepared for your stay after reopening, partially reopening to lock back down again? Will you stand for that? I'd love to know. Some of the things he said, uh, some good news here, <laughs> not just all horrible stuff. Fauci did say that uh, the, the prediction that we would see 200,000 new cases per day by June. That model is wrong. He doesn't think we're going to get there. So things are looking better than what the, than what we've been told in terms of uh, new cases coming up. Seems like that is slowing. Um, and in terms of treatments and vaccines, Dr. Fauci says it's a bridge too far to expect that we're going to get these right treatments and these vaccines in time for the fall semester. So colleges, schools, you may not open in the fall. And if you've got a kid in school or if you're planning on going to college, and, and, uh, this just might not happen. And this uh, became a testy exchange with Senator Rand Paul, who was saying, look, the doomers and gloomers have failed here and they've misled us. They've got these failed predictions, just like the one that I mentioned here about this 200,000 cases per day by June. That's not happening. Uh, that Rand Paul says, look, look at Sweden um, and maybe we should reopen the economy and, and, and in our, and our school because this thing is not as deadly for kids. Fauci shot back at this. He said he basically told Senator Rand Paul, don't be so cavalier about the effect of COVID-19 on children. So look out. You know, he said he mentioned something about some respiratory disease that they might be developing as well, some maybe some chronic condition. So I'd love to know what you think about that. I mean, should we open schools anyway? And here's another one. Here's another one. Senator Bernie, Bernie Sanders, I'd love to know your thoughts on this. Pressed, uh, pressed the panel on this question. When we do get a vaccine, when this thing is ready to roll, should we should we make it free for all Americans? And I think that's an, an interesting question. Um, you know, we've, we're all sort of bearing this burden. Many of us, I mean, 33, 35 million people have lost jobs. And when they get this vaccine, should it be free and available to all Americans? Love to know your thoughts on that. I say my first thought is, yeah, I think so. I, I think that's the least that's the least the government can do after making us shut down our lives, shut down our businesses, shut everything down. And yeah, I think I think the cure for this thing that. It wouldn't be too bad if they provided it for us. Another thing, if you're paying attention to testing, on the testing uh, thing, they said they, they expect about 40 to 50 million tests per month. Um, so that's good news. We're getting there. We're ramping up testing. Love to know your thoughts on one. Are you prepared? Are you prepared? Will you fight if your state goes back into lockdown? What are your thoughts on that, on that prospect? And what do you think about the vaccine? Should it be free to all Americans or should we pay just like we do for, for anything else? Or at least make it very cheap. Maybe I think that's why I like I don't, it shouldn't be $100, right? Maybe $10, I might accept that. But in general, yeah, you know, you, you kind of, you, you broke the bank and now you got to pay for it kind of a thing or, or you, broke the, you broke the pot as it is. So I'd love to know what you think about that. I mean, there's really nothing else going on in this testimony. It's not all that exciting. So that's why I figured I'd jump in to let you guys know some of the highlights that I found. Okay, I got a comment here from Vera Powers. No lockdown. Stop the madness. Many wouldn't take a vaccine anyway. Yeah, that is a good point. Have you guys, by the way, have you guys seen the pandemic documentary? <laughs> I don't want to know if I want to step into that minefield yet, but I am curious if you guys if you have any thoughts on it. You can comment below. Uh, Vera continues, stop the fear mongering and drama and put America back to work. It's the best solution. Okay. A lot of people agree with you, Vera. A lot of people have that same sentiment. 
we just want to look we got to get we got to kind of like push through this thing right maybe that's that's the, that, that's the only way we're going to get through it is if we actually just sort of bust through that wall and just accept uh, that yes it, it, there are going to be no, more cases unfortunately there will be more deaths but look we got we got to live right i got to feed my children that kind of a thing so uh yeah I, i'm feeling that for you guys michael says are you out of your mind with this caption free vaccinations absolutely not okay michael well how much should we pay <laughs> You know, we've got something we're going to we're going to get the we're going to be able to inoculate the entire country so that we don't have these lockdowns so we can get on with our lives. I mean, what, what's a fair price? I don't know. Free doesn't bother me. Look, you know, they, they make all these business owners shut down and the least they can do is give me a freaking vaccine so this doesn't happen again. But uh, I mean, it's certainly uh, certainly Michael disagrees with that. Love to know what all of you think of this. Go ahead. Keep commenting down below. I'm going to let you guys go. Uh, you know, you catch the t testimony if you think you might find something, but I didn't hear anything all that great other than a couple of these little things about whether free vaccine, this idea that school is not going to probably not going to open in the fall. And yes, your state may, may lock you down again. I don't think you guys are going to stand for it, certainly. All right, I'll catch you guys in the next video. Thanks so much for watching.